First question, guys. Do you eat before an early morning Where's workout? Where's that come from? This is Christina, guys. Christina, we're gonna talk directly for you right now, okay? Do I eat before an early morning workout? So, no, I don't. I used to when I was younger. I was like, I gotta eat a banana. I gotta have a bowl of oatmeal, but I just didn't feel great during my workouts. And now I've moved to just fasted. So again, I wake up around 5.45. I work out around 6, 6.30, and I like just do it fasted. I feel, I feel stronger there. I feel more clear in my mind, but that's personal to me. So. Whenever you work out, if it's early in the morning and you feel a little shaky during your workout, then grab something quick, like a uh, piece of fruit. Again, oatmeal can uh, work as well. It's all personal preference, but for me, I like to work out fast and I just feel better. So however you feel, Christina, do it that way. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's all about how you feel during your workouts. When you're first getting started on your journey in your beginning, it's probably wise to have a little a bioavailable sugar in the morning. So like an apple or like Matt said, a banana or some type of substance that is going, because you haven't eaten all night, right? And if you don't eat all night and you go out and you do that hardcore burn boot camp workout at 445 or 530 in the morning and you hadn't eaten, what are you running on? Okay, what are you running on? Your blood, your blood sugar is gonna go down because you're gonna exhaust that in 10 minutes and then you're gonna get dizzy and you're gonna spin if you're a first timer or you are just getting into fitness. The reason Matt doesn't have to eat anymore before his workouts is because he's been eating and building muscle and working out and his body is acclimated to it and he has to actually, the only way he can reacclimate his body is by incorporating more external stress in his workout, right? So however, wait, why he say, says that is because he wants to feel the best he can so that he can then put on that performance, right, in the gym that's ultimately going to break down the muscle fiber so that we can then eat and build it back up. You follow me? Listen, Christina, I know, I know, I know, I know, in the morning it's hard to get food in. You're not that hungry, probably, a lot of people aren't, and you know, but at the end of the day, it just depends, if you're a beginner, I definitely want you to get some bioavailable sugar in. My favorite is an apple, all right? A couple bites of an apple on the way to the gym. That's at least gonna sustain you through the workout, all right? And then we definitely have to eat that post-workout meal um, as fast as we can. Matt, what's your yeah. post-workout go-to meal? Uh, my post-workout, actually I did it today, I had a glass of chocolate milk. And uh, it was after a hard workout and I needed, because I felt, shaky and I needed those quick sugars, those quick carbs and I love to crush a glass of chocolate milk after mm, a workout my, and, it, and it's delicious. My favorite, this is gonna sound gross probably to you guys. <laughs> okay, are you ready for this? Don't make fun of me, Christina. All right, Burn Nation out there, this is my favorite thing to do, all right? I'll take about a half a cup of oatmeal, I'll take four egg whites, maybe three, and four or three um, whole eggs, all right? I'll cook the eggs, I'll cook the oatmeal, I'll scramble the eggs, put it in the oatmeal, mix it up, and then put maple syrup on it. For the same reason that Matt puts, for the same reason that Matt does the chocolate milk, I'm putting that maple syrup on it as that fast, yes. uh, that, that sugar that's gonna help sugar. me get my, get my recovery game on. Yeah. So listen, yes, 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 yes. When in default, eat before a workout. The worst thing that can happen is that your blood sugar's low, you exhaust it, you get dizzy, and then you can't finish your workout, okay? So with that being said, thank you, Christina, for your thank question, you, and I hope that helps you.